Good morning students. Today we will learn another kind of noun that is collective noun. As its name suggests, collective means the collection of nouns. But the nouns must be of same kind. A noun that refers to a group of persons, animals and things is called the collective noun. For example, a group of people is called a crowd of people. A group of sheep is called a flock of sheep. A set or group of flowers is a bunch of flowers. So, a collective noun is the name given to a group of things. It can be a group of animals such as lions, dogs. It can be a group of people such as students, teachers. It can be a group of things such as flowers. So, collective noun is the name used for a group of things. It can be animals like squirrels, elephants, lions, cows. It can be things like tables, trees, fruits, flowers, etc. Now, let us understand it better with some more examples. One fish is a fish. A group of fish is called a school of fish. So, what is school? School is collective noun. One elephant is an elephant. But a group of elephants is called a herd of elephants. So, herd is a collective noun used for a group of elephants. A lion is a lion. Single lion is called a lion. But if a group of lions is there, as it is shown in the picture, it is called a pride of lions. So, what is pride? Pride is a collective noun used for a group of lions. Some more examples are there. A goose is a single bird. But if so many goose are, geese are there, so it is called a flock of geese. So, flock is a collective noun used for a group of geese. A choir of singers. So many singers are there and they are singing. So, we will not say that the singers are singing many singers. A choir of singers is singing a song. So, choir is a collective noun given to singers. What could you call these things? A group of soldiers, an army, a large group of people is a crowd, a group of footballers, players, it is a team, a group of school children, it is a class.